The importance of comprehensive individual feedback in an online learning environment cannot be overemphasized enough. Your students may feel like they're in Siberia if you as an instructor don't provide feedback online as well as in class. Prompt feedback creates an essential bridge between you and students, closing any gaps that may exist. There is another reason that feedback takes on a heightened level of importance in the online learning environment. If you capitalize on the value online learning environments bring to the educational process, you can make a qualitative leap above what is possible in the classroom alone. Online discussions allow you to participate in each student's learning process. By communicating solely in writing, the discussion environment exposes strengths and weaknesses in analysis and critical thinking. Feedback that is skillfully woven into discussions has the potential to help your students learn better and get more out of the material. You want to promote a productive relationship. What are some of the ways you can use feedback to promote a learning dialogue and productive relationship with learners? You can establish personal connections. Using feedback to connect with students on a personal basis is important and not something that can always happen in a class full of students. Feedback could focus on sharing interest, providing encouragement, or offering some special insight that relates to the student's individual interest. Students are taking the material presented and trying to find relevance in terms of how the information and skills benefit them. Friendly and personal feedback on a regular basis that aids learners in identifying personal relevance is extremely valuable. Here are some other things that promoting a relationship with your students can result in. Establish credibility. Facilitator feedback plays a crucial role in whether or not learners value the time they spend with you, other learners, and the online learning environment. Productive online learning communities hinge on trust trust in process and the facilitator. With prompt, thorough, and individualized feedback, you establish trust and credibility. Learners need to believe that you can help them through some of the contradictions, complexities, and dilemmas they may experience in online learning. Clarify your role. Facilitator feedback can reinforce the relationship of learner and facilitator. Your comments can demonstrate that you are not present to dispense wisdom in an all-knowing capacity. Instead, your comments should reinforce the idea that you are engaged in a two-way relationship with learners and your role is to help learners progress in understanding, not simply to pass judgment and award grades. Walk the talk. The feedback you weave throughout discussions can serve as a powerful model for the kind of behavior you expect of learners. For example, if you expect learners to question their assumptions, question some of your own assumptions. If you expect a certain level of participation, then participate in the way you expect students to do by providing feedback that critically evaluates the readings, builds on ideas of other learners, and brings your own experience and background to bear on the dialogue. Establish personal connections. Use feedback to connect with students personally. Feedback could focus on sharing interest, providing encouragement, or offering some special insight that relates to the student's individual interest. Students are taking the material presented and trying to find relevance in terms of how the information and skills benefit them. Friendly and personal feedback on a regular basis that aids learners in identifying personal relevance is extremely valuable. Fostering learning. As an online facilitator, you are responsible for providing opportunities for students to achieve the learning competencies. Feedback is one way to create these opportunities. There are many ways feedback can promote learning, and as class dynamics change, so will the objectives of your feedback. The purpose of your feedback one day may be to sustain the cohesiveness of the class. Later in the course, you may need to provide motivational feedback if you notice that a student is not working up to his or her potential. Sometimes you may be guiding learners to think in new ways. At other times, you may be guiding the development of communication skills by asking learners to rephrase statements or clarify their position. You will always want to acknowledge and encourage excellent work, even highlighting it as a model for other students. You may need to challenge students to continue thinking or to look deeper into a subject. 